Sometimes it really is fairly easy to know when to stop when you're near a school bus. In fact, if you're behind it, you know, it slows down, the stop arm goes out, you know that you got to stop generally. But sometimes it's not as simple. For example, take Battlefield Boulevard here behind me. It's got four lanes and a shared turn lane in the middle. Guess what? If you're on the far side here and there's a school bus on the other side, you have three whole lanes separating you from the bus. You still got to stop because there isn't a median there to separate you from the bus. Now this is all about safety. It's all about keeping children from getting harmed, right? I don't have to tell you that. Uh, two lane road in one with one lane in either direction. Keep in mind, school buses stop. Both directions have to stop. Two lanes on either side with a double line in the middle. You have to stop. Same if there's a shared turn lane, just as I mentioned here with Battlefield Boulevard. The only time you don't have to stop, that depends on what's separating your car from the bus. Anytime there is a positive barrier median, you do not need to stop. So what I mean by positive barrier median is a jersey wall, a curb. Um, if you're familiar with Military Highway, they have the area where there's a road, grass with trees, and a road. You do not have to stop there. There is some positive barrier there. So Chesapeake Police Sergeant Kenneth Bird says if you're caught blowing by a stopped bus, you could face a $250 civil penalty, even if it's an accidental mistake. And the chance of you getting caught is pretty good, right? Because a lot of our school divisions in our area, they now have cameras just behind that stop sign that goes out on the bus. And so they are monitoring to see if people violate the rules and they can catch your license plate and they will catch you with that. In fact, uh, James City County, they just added their stop arm cameras this year already in school. The police department there put out a tweet saying that in the first three days, they've caught 71 people who have blown by the stop sign. So super, super important. This is a life or death matter when it comes to kids who have to cross the street to get to and from their bus stop. So really something to keep in mind with the rest of our school divisions here in Virginia going to school after Labor Day in just a few days. For now that we're live in Chesapeake, Anthony Sabella, News 3.